So he says there's three types of thoughts. When it comes to Jews embracing thoughts, ideas, philosophies from the outer, outside world. He says there's one type of thought that's so general that anybody could have said it. And with, when it comes to those thoughts, we openly embrace thoughts and ideas from the outside. So I could imagine, just, he doesn't explain exactly what that means. But I can imagine he might be referring to general ethical principles like love your neighbor as yourself, general ideas that we embrace without conditions. He says there's another type of thought um, that takes a little bit more work. <laughs> so it could be a deep idea, but it's colored in the culture, the society, the thought um, of external cultures. And so as a Jew, you wanna be within the Jewish framework. So it takes a little bit of work refining that idea and, and lifting it up. One, one idea that came to my mind is Rav Cook often would, would take um, general philosophy and convert it to Judaism. And there's a, like Spinoza's thought, he wrote on a lot, although Spinoza was a Jew, but he took it, he says, it's similar to Hasidism because Spinoza said everything is God, but it's different. And so we have to get rid of the negative and take the positive. So that's kind of like a conversion process. Then he says, there's, there's, some, there's some thoughts that only, uh, that only could be said by Jews. And we sh in those areas, we shouldn't be taking from the outside. And he brings a verse, he says, um, when it comes to this, it says the Jewish people should stand alone and not think at all about what, not, what, what, we, what we receive from external sources, from non-Jewish sources. Um, and I could imagine perhaps that's at least talking about maybe some of our unique customs or perhaps mystical insights that come from being in the Jewish experience and maybe perhaps I'm sure much more. Now the question is how you differentiate based on Ralph, if you want to follow Ralph Cook's direction, how you differentiate between these three? How do you know when it's a general idea that we can just openly embrace, when you have to convert and when you should just stay away? He says it's hard to know that and that's why you have to follow the rabbis who can offer guidance on this front. But what I, think is not, what, I think is, what I think is helpful is that from this model is that Rav Cook lists three approaches. Two of them are open to receiving from the outside. And I think that's also the message of our Parsha. Uh, when, when Moshe received direction and guidance from Yitro, that's direction from the outside as well. So you have to be careful to know what to take and what to take out. But it, it sh according to at least this text in Rav Cook, it shouldn't lead to a complete clo uh, closed outlook to the outside world, the opposite. Try to be open, but do it in a careful way, trying to figure out which thought is which.